So is victimizing yourself a coping mechanism? Victimizing yourself is a habit, right? It's something that you learn to do and it's something that you become comfortable with. And the mind has a really, really bizarre, like it has a really bizarre truth, which is that it prefers the comfortable to the good. So if your mind has a choice between picking something that it's familiar with and picking something that's good, it's actually going to pick something that it's familiar with. And what I want you guys to understand about victimizing yourself is that someone who victimizes themselves is in an abusive relationship with themselves. And we have to remember that people stay in abusive relationships. Human beings stay in abusive relationships all the time. And then the question becomes, why do people stay in abusive relationships? Like, let's be scientific about it, right? Let's not judge and say that, oh, that's stupid. Let's ask ourselves as scientists, why does the human mind do what it does? Why on earth does someone stay with someone who, like, hits them? Like, what the fuck is going on in their mind? And we have to accept that there's a damn good reason that they are in that relationship. Because there's got to be a damn good reason. If they're in a relationship where someone treats them like shit... You have to think about scales being weighed. And if someone's treating you like shit, like that's really heavy. So in order to stay in that relationship, you've got to have something really powerful to balance it. And that's that the mind prefers the familiar to the good. And the reason that people victimize themselves is because they're familiar with it, right? Like, why does Jessica tell her? So in her mind, the part of herself that beats herself up is basically like a copy paste it's a copy pasta of her dad. It's her dad's voice that lives in her mind. It's exactly what her dad would be saying in those moments. That's what she tells herself. She learned that. And why on earth does she continue to victimize herself? It's because her mind prefers the known to the unknown. And that makes sense, right? Like, why do people stay in abusive relationships? It's because they don't know what else is down there. They don't know if loneliness is next. They don't know if they're ever going to find someone down the road and think about that for a second if someone in an abusive relationship feels like they're a piece of shit and if you really believe that you're a piece of shit then why do you think that you like the grass would be greener on the other side you believe that the grass is greener on the other side if you have faith in yourself as a human being to make it greener but if you're in an abusive relationship you don't think that you're a good person and you don't think that you're going to find someone better you don't believe that you're worthy of someone better, so you're going to stay in the abusive relationship. And victimizing yourself is an abusive relationship with yourself, right? That's what it really is. And we stay in those because we don't think that we can find a better way. She doesn't think that there's a part of Jessica that doesn't understand that there is a better way out there. Because her dad taught her this since she was like one year old or even younger. There were times, honestly, where she was probably crying when she was six months old and her dad did not pick her up and comfort her. And that left its mark. That's trauma. What we're dealing with here is not like anxiety or depression. It's trauma. And the reason that people victimize themselves is because that's what they were taught to do. Monkey see, monkey do.